Joining me now from the ONS Europe event to discuss the rapid progress made by the Common NFBI Telco Task Force are Vincent Dano from Orange, Beth Cohen from Verizon, Rabbi Abdel from Vodafone, and Gurge Satori from Nokia. Thanks everybody for joining us on Telecom TV. Rabbi, if I could ask you first, what is the CNTT and why was it established? Yeah, CNTT stands for Common NFVI Telco Task Force. And the intention really to standardize the NFVI and build an entire framework for VNS and NFVI certification based on that common NFVI. And that really brings value to operators reducing the cost of internal verification activities, but also will allow vendors to certify their application once and for everybody. And that will mean better time to market for us. Beth, do we not already have a commonly agreed standard for NFVI? No, <laughs> absolutely not. If, if there were, we wouldn't be in business. But um, part of what happened is that as, as the ONAP and the NFV standards started gelling, uh, it became more and more obvious that there was a gap in that there was no standard to put these NFVs on. And my personal experience has been that the vendors you know, they, they, they don't understand the complexities of doing it. I mean, they, they would just say, here, here's a VM, uh, you know, go, go to town, and we'd say it doesn't actually work in, in this, in our environment. So that's, that's there's a gap. <laughs> and Vincent, do you echo best views there? So clearly, yes. And in my company, we are operating in many countries, many different countries. And our experience is that, um, um, we, we see many different infrastructures. Um, there are a number of VNFs, and the vendors have to adapt their VNF to our infrastructures. We can have several, and other operators would have others. Which are different. And this is, there is an incredible high number of combinations. So this is why we found CNTT and all this work um, uh, needed for the whole industry. It's needed for us, it's needed for the VNF vendors and for anyone who needs to integrate. Gurge, the CNTT is not just about operators now, it also embraces vendors. You represent a major vendor. Why are you interested in the CNTT? We are interested in, uh, in it for two reasons. First of all, we have uh, NFVI products. So if it's, uh, it's standardized, then our products have to comply with the standard. And we would like to ensure that this standard is, is, uh, is good and it's according to like, the whole industry's needs. So this is, we are very happy that this is an open source project where everybody can contribute and where everybody can bring their own views. On the other hand, we are also a VNF vendor. So this activity will reduce our cost uh, to test the VNFs on different NFVIs. Ravi, CNTT was created out of the open source community, but now the GSMA has a significant role. So, well, I mean, if you look at the GSMA, it's a standard organization. What we're trying to do is really come up with a standard for NFVI. And the expectation really is, in the long run, GSMA will maintain the development of that standard as it evolves, having new technologies and new features and so on. But the CNTT itself is really the intention behind it to be a short term to accelerate the development of that, uh, that standard. And we expect once the reference model, which is really the, the standard for an VI, becomes more mature, we expect GSMA to carry on the maintenance and the progression and the involvement of that standard moving forward. Well, let me add to that because um, I think that so the, the um, co uh, collaboration between GSMA and LFN to, to support the effort, the CNTT effort, is the first. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I see it as really positive uh, toward getting to our goals. And um, although it's a task force now, I really see that um, I was actually talking to somebody earlier today and thinking we actually crossed the line when we signed that agreement between GSMA and the LFN that, you know, this is now a project that's supported by both. And it is a, I would say, a not necessarily permanent, but it's, a, it's an established project at this point. Vincent, this is something of a fast-tracked project. Um, it was only created earlier this year. It's unprecedented for the telecoms industry. What progress has been made so far? You're, you're very right that uh, it's been quite fast-tracked and we're happy with that. What we've seen over the, the recent months 
it's um, growing interest. And this is very good news. Um, we have started just a few. We are now many joining this initiative. So this is a great achievement, uh, but there is still much to do. Uh, so we will deliver soon the bot range release, and this is a great achievement. Um, we want to, to, to go beyond, continue the work on that, and we want to expand um, the work in OPNFV, the certification behind that. So there is quite much to do, um, but we, we, are, we are working hard on this. So I'd like to encourage um, operators and vendors to join the effort. Uh, it's an open community, of course, and uh, the, the, more, more the, the more help we can get, it, I think the more benefits to everybody in the community and, and all the vendors and all the operators. So just to add to this, actually, we just launched the first initial uh, specifications for uh, OpenStack-based reference architecture, and next we're really looking forward to look at containerized platforms. And we, know, we do understand the containerization framework is not mature yet. And this is why we really need to work together with Vendor, with CNCF, with the tag group uh, in the community to try to find consistent solutions to the challenges we have in container framework. So we set our end goal to be container framework and then find a way to transition where we are now into becoming really containerized. And because of this uh, overlaps between the CNCF's uh, tech user group and the CNTT and other uh, open source projects, it's very important that everything is uh, happening in the open, so all the documents are, are, are open, all the meetings are open, everybody can come and contribute to the work. Beth, Rabbi mentioned working towards a containerized framework. Is this the ultimate end goal of CNTT, or do you see the group as continuing to evolve its work as technology evolves? Containerization is the buzz, but you know, five years from now, it's going to be something else. And, but the consistent message, the CNTT, in whatever form it, it, it takes, needs to remain because we always need to have consistent infrastructure that's supported because operators have very long timelines, very long time frames for, for the infrastructure that we have to support. So actually, if I, if I want to say what's the ultimate goal, I don't know if you guys agree with me, but it's really to have the end-to-end framework to see VNFs and NFVI being certified and validated using programs like OVP so we don't have to validate them and certify them internally in our operators' networks. And that will mean less cost to us and better time to market. Right. And, and this less is how cost to the vendors too. Absolutely. Yes, for us also. And this is why it's important to have like one stable reference model what you can use as a, as a basis for the verification. And you can have different reference uh, architectures with different technologies, but all of them are implementing the same uh, model. So you can verify it against the model. And how can the telecoms community get involved in CNTT? The community is open, the program, and we really encourage all vendors and operators to come on board. All our meetings are published in the wikis. We have face-to-face -face workshops. We're trying to align them with the industry events so we don't add extra burden to people to travel. So please, for, for, the, for the entire community to get more engaged, help us find answers to those challenges we're facing, and having a value and a real value that will benefit everybody in this room. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today from ONS Europe 2019. Thank you.